Welcome back everyone to Mona's Take. I am your host Mona Rose and we are here to talk about everything reality TV. Tonight we're going to be talking about The Real Housewives of New Jersey, episode 6. And tonight the girls didn't bring the drama the guys did, which is highly unusual, but we'll get into that in a moment. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you each and every one of you. I appreciate the support. My channel is growing and I am really excited about it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything I've got coming up. Earlier today, um, I was watching Up and Adam. He covers everything that's Bravo TV. Um, if you haven't subscribed to him on YouTube, I would look him up. He He's fun to watch. But I was watching his show, and it was about Louie and Red Flags. So, of course, I had to watch it. And evidently, he had posted a picture on Instagram of him and Teresa sitting together in a chair before they went out to dinner. And they were getting all gooey, and I love you, and this is my heart, you're my life, and da-da-da-da, all this. But they got a negative response from a woman. And his reaction to that negative response, to me, told volumes. What he said was, he attacked her appearance, which I thought was pretty low class. I mean, if you're going to be in reality TV of any sorts, you're going to get negative feedback. I get negative feedback. And when I do, I respond with grace and dignity. Just like Carson says, for those of you who watch Big Brother. But it's true. You, you can't get into a for lack of better terms, pissing contest on social media. It never ends well. So now he's getting a lot of heat over this. What he said to the woman was that it's no wonder that you hide behind your dogs. If I had a mug like that, I would too. If you need to project your bullshit, call your mom and ask her what happened to you. Grow up. In all caps, loser. And after all the backlash, because you know he's attacking a woman's appearance and that's never appropriate or warranted in this situation, I don't think. He deleted the, the Instagram, but not before a bunch of people screenshotted it and started plastering it all over Twitter and Instagram. So it's too late. We all know when you put anything out there, I don't care if you delete it, it's not gone. Somebody has screenshotted it. Somebody has clipped it. Somebody has cropped it. It's there to stay. You can't get rid of it. So you should be really mindful about what you put out on social media. He's getting a lot of backlash about the way that he talks to women. We seen it when he was talking to Margaret and he said, even on your best day, you don't intimidate me. Um, telling Teresa to stop or he'll leave and then saying, how is she ever going to learn if I don't leave? When, you know, Teresa gets riled up. We all know that. She's done this for years. When she gets mad, she gets upset, she gets loud, and she gets riled up. And his shh, shh, you have two ears and one mouth. That's why we listen more. I mean, you want to say something like that in private, that's fine, but you don't say something like that in front of a group of people to your fiance or your wife or your girlfriend or whatever. It's just not appropriate. So he's getting a lot of heat off of this right now. There's also a new rumor that came out, uh, was posted by Anonymous, and I wasn't going to bring it up because I don't like talking about something that I can't fact check, but they did bring it up on the show tonight. So, um, but this Anonymous person had posted that Louis had hit his ex-girlfriend in front of her children. There's just a lot of red flags that's coming out about this man. And of course, Teresa is oblivious. She she doesn't care what anybody says or what anybody thinks. She's not checking into anything. She's blissful. Ignorance is bliss, right? Well, she's pretty blissful right now. And apparently, um, on the last episode when we saw Melissa read out loud the text that Teresa had sent her about backing up her boyfriend, she had read it out loud to the whole group that was there. And of course, it was on camera. So they're saying that that wasn't meant to be on camera. That was private. Melissa shouldn't have done that. Andy Cohen asked her about it on What Happens Live, and she said that first she tried to say that, you know, she was just telling them, Teresa wants us to back up Louie, you know, if anything's said, we don't need to be talking about him tonight or, you know, anything like that. And then she turns around and says, well, to be honest, it's okay for her and Gia and the girls to read text messages from Joe on camera, but it's not okay for her to read them. So there's a little family drama going on right now with that. Because of course these episodes are just starting to air. They're probably seeing a lot of stuff that they didn't know was there. And of course, Teresa is taking Jennifer's side on the whole Melissa Jennifer altercation that they had last week. She's saying that it was Melissa's fault because Melissa was the one who started the Instagram post 
was saying that Jennifer would throw her own mother under the bus for a storyline. That supposedly is what started all that stuff last year, where she called Joe Gorga a crook, and he hasn't forgot it. And of course, if I'm a businessman or a businesswoman and somebody says something like that about me and it's not true, I'm going to get heated, very heated. And I would probably respond worse than what they did, because I sometimes I let my mouth overload my butt. And there it is. <laughs> we saw that when they left off last week that Teresa had stormed out of the house after Tracy had confirmed her about being loyal to her brother and tonight that's where it started. Teresa goes out on the dock and of course Louie follows her and she's crying and she's saying that she doesn't want to fight with her family and then Joe Gorga follows her out there and he tell and she tells him I'm tired of everybody getting involved in our family stuff. She knows nothing about us. She has no business saying anything about us. I don't understand why everybody has to always get involved. And I said this last week. It's going to turn around. It's going to be a Tracy and Teresa feud. It's coming because Teresa has commented too many times about Somebody better tell that bitch to shut her mouth. And Tracy just keeps doubling down. <laughs> like, girl, you, I don't think you know what you're asking for. But she's asking for it. And I agree. When it comes to their family battles, none of those women should have anything to say. That should be between Joe and Teresa and Melissa. They are family. Nobody else should get involved. Nobody else should put their two cents in. That, you know, I wouldn't want somebody jumping in if I'm arguing with my brother or sister. That's between us. And I can argue with them, but I don't want anybody else doing it. And I think that's the way most of us are. So after they talk on the dock a little bit, and uh, Melissa does go out there and check on them, and says, you know, let's just squash this. Let's have a good time. Can we get a drink? Blah, blah, blah. So they go back to the party. Well, as soon as they go back to the party, Tracy walks up to Teresa again and says, can I talk to you? I'm like, girl, you are really asking for it. I don't know if she's just trying really hard to get a storyline so that she gets asked back or what, but I think she's going to bite off more than she can chew by the end of the season. And of course, Margaret joins in with them. And they're talking about the video again. And Margaret asked Teresa if she's even watched it. And she said, no, she doesn't care to watch it. She doesn't care what happened in his past. His past is his past. The only thing she cares about is their present and their future. And if he's a good guy and he's going to make her happy, I agree with that. However, there's a lot of red flags that make me go, oh, wait a minute. Is this guy actually for real? Is he going to be good for Teresa? Because we all know she's been through hell after going to prison from her last husband. She does not need anybody that's got any ill intentions or is a fake or is a fraud. So, you know, right now they're still in the honeymoon stage. So everything is still good and, and golden. We'll see where that goes. Well, we do know that now, I mean, these shows, I think they taped six months ago. So we do know now that they are engaged and they're having some type of engagement party that Dol Dolores wasn't invited to. Still haven't found out more about that. So they're still together right now. Everything's still hunky-dory. Jennifer is still mad at Bill. She is mad at him because he didn't stick up for her when the whole fight was going on between her and Melissa. And she says in her confessional that she's tired of acting like everything's okay between her and Bill for the kid's sake when it's not. So I think the fact that his affair has come out and is now public, she feels like she has to deal with it. Whereas before, she told no one. She did not tell her sister. She did not tell her mother. She did not tell her children. She did not tell her best friend. She did not tell anyone. Her way of dealing with it was to ignore it and move on. And I don't know if it has a lot to do with her culture, um, but from what I'm seeing in her confessionals, uh, it seems as though that may be the case. I may be wrong, but now that it's out and it's in the public, she's got to deal with it. We saw tonight that she had told her oldest daughter, but she still hasn't told her parents. She still hasn't told her sister, which of course they all know now, I'm sure, if they watch the show. And I would think if my sister was on something like that, I'd probably watch it. So who knows? Margaret and Marge have lunch. And, of course, they haven't got set down very good at all before Margaret brings up Teresa and says that Teresa says that Margaret's trying to run her relationship and that that's not the case, that she's just concerned. And she talks about the video again. And then she brings up the anonymous post of someone saying that he hit his ex in front of her children. And I'm sure if that is the case, it will come out because now the episode has aired and it's out there. 
Marge says that she hopes that it's not true because she wants the girls to be happy and she wants Teresa to be happy. And Margaret said, I feel the same. I don't necessarily think that's true. I think Margaret likes to stir the pot. Margaret likes to keep things going. There's always a conflict and she's always talking about somebody else. And she doesn't have a squeaky clean past. So she's not one to be talking about anybody. But again, she doesn't really have a storyline. Her outing bill is her storyline right now. And I don't think she really had one last year. So we shall see how that ends up. The things some of these girls will do for a storyline. Getting pretty deep. Gia and Teresa go out for ice cream. And they're talking about her relationship with Louie. And Gia says that, you know, you're moving. Don't you think you're moving a little too fast? And Teresa said, well, you know, I thought that it would be inappropriate to move in with him unless we were engaged and we have talked about it. And Gia said, well, I think you need to slow down a little bit. I just think it's, it's way too quick. And Teresa talks about the girls saying something to her about the video. And Gia said, who cares? And she said, you're right. I don't care about what anybody thinks except for my kids, Louie, and his kids. So Teresa is just, again oblivious to anything that's going on around her that's not hearts and roses. Then they go to the scene with Dolores and her parents. I did not realize that Dolores and David had been together five years. I didn't realize it had been five years, but they had been together for five years and he still doesn't want to make a commitment and he doesn't want to do anything with her. She keeps saying he's married to his job and so tonight, anyway, she tells her parents that they broke up. And their parents are very disappointed. And her dad even says, you know, he's he's been so good to our family. He's like one of my kids. And this just hurts my heart. And she says, well, I'm sorry. I just can't be in a relationship where, you know, he's married to his work. He never goes anywhere with me. He never does anything with me. And so her parents agreed that it was probably the best thing. Now, as I reported, I think the video before this, that David is now seeing Louie's ex. And there's pictures of them going places. There's pictures of them on Instagram and all that. So I'm wondering if it wasn't necessarily that David didn't want to commit or didn't want to get engaged or didn't want to get married. I don't think David wanted to be on TV. I think that's why he didn't go to any of the events with Dolores. That maybe that's why Frank always went. It's a thought, and I, I'm i usually pretty good about people watching and, and figuring that out. And I really think it had more to do with the fact that she was on reality TV than it did him not wanting to go and do anything with her because he was always working. Jennifer is talking to her oldest daughter, and like I said, her and Bill have set her down and told her about the affair. And the younger child had come through and asked where the grandmother was. And Jennifer said, she's still in Turkey. And she said, I want her to come home. And she said, I know you do, but she's having fun over there. Well, then the little one goes outside and she tells the oldest one, she said, uh, if I'm gonna be honest, I hope that she stays over there a little longer. I'm not looking forward to her coming back. And the daughter said, why not? And she said, because I haven't told her yet and I have to tell her. And she said, so why wouldn't you just tell her? Well, then it shows Jennifer in a confessional talking about she doesn't want to tell her mother because her mother's not going to blame Bill because men never do anything wrong that if he cheated, it must be my fault for him cheating I wasn't doing something right. And then it goes back to her talking to her daughter and she tells her, you know, that uh, Nana or whatever they call her is not going to be happy about dad's affair. And to be honest, she's probably going to blame Margaret for bringing it out. So I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting the feeling that there's something there um, where the men don't have to take the blame. It takes a lot to realize it's not your fault. You did absolutely nothing wrong. That is the person who cheated. That's on them. And that needs to be on Bill. And if he's made amends to his wife and they've decided to forget it and move on, that should not be anybody else's business. I understand they're on reality TV, but how many times are you going to beat a dead horse? All that's going to do is cause more problems between Bill and Jennifer because Jennifer is going to resent him more and more the more people that she has to tell and the more real this is. Jennifer and Dolores go down and they're working out and Dolores asks her if she's still mad at Bill. And she says, hell yeah, I'm still mad at him. She said, he betrayed me once and now he's doing it again. She still feels like Bill betrayed her by not stepping in during that fight to defend her. When I have mixed feelings about that, I don't think the guys should get involved in the girls 
drama. If they have security for that, let them handle it. Guys get up and start grabbing and trying to break up and one husband's going to get pissed off and the other husband, they're going to end up in a fist fight. So I can agree with Bill that he should not have stepped in. However, Jennifer feels like that's just another betrayal. Dolores tells Jennifer that she doesn't think that she's quite over the fact that he had an affair and that maybe that's something that she has to deal with. And Jennifer says, well, you know, I agreed to forget it and move on and, and I don't feel like it's right for me to bring it up again if I've changed my mind and I have these different feelings now. And and Dolores tells her, you need to sit down and talk to Bill about this because if you don't, that resentment and that anger is only going to grow if you don't express it and get it out. Well, about that time, Dolores gets a phone call and her mother had went in for a procedure to check her heart and they found out that she had to have a bypass. So Dolores was getting her stuff gathered up and, and going off. And I hope that her mother is okay. And I do send prayers to the family. And I hope that uh, Dolores' family has a little bit of peace. Okay, now the main drama for the night. It wasn't with the women. It was with the men. The men are getting together and they're having a boys' night now. Now, we've watched over the years with the Real Housewives of New Jersey. The men have never let anything that was going on with the women affect the men. They've always been kosher. They've always been good. They've always gone out and had a good time. And they leave the drama for the ladies. With the exclusion of Joe jo Judice and Joe Gorga. But for the most part, you see the men getting together and having a good time and laughing about everything that's going on and they don't let it affect them one way or the other. This season has changed it. So they're getting ready to go to this boys night and some kind of text, group text was sent out. I'm guessing that it was sent by Bill and, and with that group text, Joe responds, F you. And Louie tells Teresa about it. She's like, why would he do that? They just had that big blow up. Why would you, why would my brother do this? And then it shows Joe, of course, telling Melissa and Melissa, were you joking? And he's like, well, kind of, and then kind of not. Joe feels like when Jennifer kicked him out of the uh, house down there at uh, Jersey Shore, that Bill should have stood up for him because he was supposed to be his friend. So he feels like Bill kind of whisked out and let Jennifer take over and didn't call her on her BS. So he's a little butt hurt. So then it shows Bill telling Jennifer about the text. And Jennifer says, that's highly inappropriate. And Bill says, well, I guess Joe's bringing the women's drama to the men. And Jennifer's telling him, don't put up with anything. If anything gets started or whatever, you know, just leave. So then it shows them arriving at the restaurant. Everyone was there or with the exception of Louie and Bill. And Tiki Barber, leave it to the barbers. They're trying. Tiki asked Joe if he'd heard the latest rumor about Louie. And Joe said, no, I haven't heard anything. What are you talking about? And Margaret's husband, Joe. It says, oh yeah, there's a anonymous person out there that said that he hit his ex-girlfriend in front of their ch her children. Well, then Joe gets real wide-eyed. You know, he's like, what? And then it shows him in the confessional and he's like, you know, if I listen to this, then my sister's going to be mad at me if I bring it up. But if I listen to this and I don't do anything and I brush it off and then something happens to my sister, he's I'm going to feel like an ass. So he's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place of this new rumor. And it was the first he had heard of it. So then Bill shows up and he's like, am I the last one here? And we're like, no, we're still waiting on Louie. Well, we never saw Louie before the show ended. But anyway, so as soon as Bill sits down, Tiki, again, Barbara, trying to do the most, says, hey, Bill, when you got that text from Joe, did you think he was joking? And Bill says, you know, yes and no. And Joe Gorgas says, all right. And he says, well, you know, after everything that happened the other night, you know, that could change a lot of things. So I didn't know what to expect. I thought we were good, but I don't know. Bill says that he tries not to get involved in the woman's drama, that that's for the women. He tries to stay out of it and that he didn't know where him and Joe stood. Now, mind you, him and Joe were sitting right next to each other, side by side. And Joe says to Bill, your wife's out of control. She does a lot of things, bro. And Bill says, no, no. And Joe says, Jen got dirty and disgusting and crossed a line. And Bill said, you don't think Margaret crossed a line? 
digging for my secret. Jen's never went digging for secrets on anyone to hurt them. And Evan spoke up. Now, I haven't heard a lot from Evan the whole time they've been on the show. He's generally pretty quiet. But he speaks up and he says, uh, uh uh-uh, yes, she did. And Bill says something about, oh, well, what the people who know you know. And Evan interrupted. And he said she went looking for dirt to hurt individual people. And that's not a good person. And Bill says, okay, if you feel that way, I'll just leave. And Evan says, well, get lost then. Bye. See you later. And of course, that's where the episode ended tonight to be continued. Now, I think this is going to go south real quick because Joe's a hothead. And I think on the most part, Bill is not. However, I think he can be triggered to be a hothead. So I think this thing is going to continue on for several weeks. It's probably going to be the topic of conversation. And I have to take up for Bill. If I showed up to a restaurant with all of my friends and I hadn't even got a drink before they started grilling me about my husband and telling me that my husband was not a nice person and that he was disgusting and this and that, I would have been pulling a Teresa Judas. That table would have got flipped. It would have been on. You just don't say stuff like that to someone's spouse. What are they supposed to do? They're going to take up for their spouse. Now, behind closed doors, he may tell her one thing, but he is not going to sit here on national TV and dog his wife when he's the one that had the affair. He's not going to do that, and he's not going to sit and listen to it. I wouldn't. Tell me what you think in the comments. What would your reaction be if someone was talking like that about your spouse? The same thing with Melissa and Jennifer fight. When she turned to Joe and said, little bitch boy, the fight would have been on. I'd have been kicked off the show. I'd have been going because I go from zero to a hundred in a second when it comes to my family. And I'm sure they do too. So I think they need to let up on Bill. Um, I I could see a world that Bill says, okay, enough is enough. It's either me or the show because he's not liking getting embarrassed. So, you know, it's a possibility. We'll see where this leads. Hopefully they can make up and let the women's drama stay the women's drama because I love the guys hanging out. I love to see them hanging out, laughing, drinking, talking about all the stupid drama that's going on with the women and just laughing about it. That's what I liked about Real Housewives of New Jersey is because you have the women, but you also have the men that hang out all the time. Um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, I don't think we really see that as much. They hang out as couples, but we don't see the guys having their own, you know, boys night out, girls night out, whatever. It's couples. So, it, it's refreshing to see both sides of it. Anyway, that's about all I have for you guys tonight. I can't wait till next Tuesday night. I cannot wait till tomorrow night. Survivor starts. I will be on shortly after that. You guys have a great night. And as always, much love.